using the one-to-one -one property of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations. Now, the one-to-one -one property of logarithms says, basically, if you have log base b of m equal log base b of n, then m equals n. So what you were locking in both cases is equal to m. Now, to use this property, we first have to express the equation in the form of log base b of m equals log base b of n. Then we're going to use the one-on-one -on -one property to rewrite the equation without the logarithms. And then you should be able to solve for the variable. And then because logarithms have domain issues, you need to check your solutions in the original equation or with the um, domain. Now, let's look at a few examples here. So say that we have, there we go, natural log of 2x plus 1 equals the natural log of x minus 4. Now let's go ahead and worry about our domains real fast. So our domains, well for the first one we're going to have 2x plus 1 has to be greater than 0. Subtract 1, divide by 2, so x has got to be greater than negative 1 half. Now for the second one, we're going to have x minus 4 greater than 0, so x has got to be greater than 4. Now this is the more restrictive domain of the two, so that is the one that we will pay attention to at the end. Now back to our equation. We have already got the natural log of something equals the natural log of something else set up. So we get to drop the natural logs. So this is our m and this is our n if you wanted to um, think of it that way. And we have 2x plus 1 equals x minus 4, a linear equation. So let's subtract x from both sides. We get x plus 1 equal negative 4. So x is going to equal negative 5. Well, negative 5 is actually less than 4, and also it's less than negative 1 half even. So this does not work. Does not check with the domain. And what that means is since it was the only possible solution and it doesn't check with the domain, is that we have no solution. And we go on to the next problem. Okay. Let's look at um, log base 8 of 4x minus 1 equals log base 8 of x plus 1. So once again, our domains. Well, we have 4x minus 1 greater than 0. Add 1 divided by 4 would be x greater than 1 fourth. And then here we're going to have x plus 1 greater than 0, which means x greater than negative 1. Um, this is the one that has more, you know, it's more restrictive. So that is the one we're going to probably pay attention to. Now, we already have this set up as log base 8 of one thing equal log base 8 of the other thing. So we get to drop our log base 8s and have 4x minus 1 equal x plus 1. Subtract x from both sides, you get 3x minus 1 equal 1. Add 1, 3x equal 2, so x is 2 thirds. Well, 2 thirds is definitely bigger than 1 fourth. So this is actually a good solution. Now, let's look at one that's not linear. Okay, so for example, let's look at the common log of x squared plus 2 equal the common log of 3x. Now, our domains are going to be, well, the first one, x squared plus 2, is always bigger than 0. So this is all real numbers here. So that one's not an issue. 
But the second one, 3x greater than 0 is x greater than 0. So this is the one we're going to have to pay attention to at the end of this problem. Now, once again, we already have log of x squared plus 2 equal log of 3x. So we just drop those. We get x plus 2 equal 3x. Now this is going to be a quadratic, so it needs to be equal to 0. So we're going to move the 3x over by subtraction. And this is a factorable quadratic, and it will be x minus 1, x minus 2. And just to double check that, do the foil in your head, and it does indeed work. And then you're going to take each factor to equal 0. And so we get x equal 1 and x equal 2. And both of those are bigger than 0, so both of these actually work. All right, now let's look at our last problem. Let's look at the natural log of x plus the natural log of x minus 2 equals the natural log of x plus 4. Now over here on the right, I, I mean, excuse me, on the left, I have two logarithmic terms. So I'm going to use the product rule here of logs to bring this together as the natural log of x times x minus 2 equals the natural log of x plus 4. Now we can drop our natural logs, and this is going to be x squared minus 2x equals x plus 4. And since it's quadratic, it needs to be set equal to 0, so we're going to subtract, so x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And that factors as x minus 4 times x plus 1. And of course, if it's not factorable, you would use the quadratic formula. And so we get x minus 4 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, and it gives us x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. Now, we haven't checked with domains yet, so let's go figure out our domains. When you're doing domain, look at the original, <laughs> okay? So we actually have three that we got to worry about. Now the first one is x greater than 0. The second one is x minus 2 greater than 0, which means x is greater than 2. And then the last one is x plus 4 greater than 0, which is x greater than negative 4. Now, this one right here in the middle, if I can get the pen to write, <laughs> there we go, is the most restrictive one. And this one, x equal negative 1, does not work. Now, x equal 4 does work, so this is our only solution. The end.